recently my brother has found a series of home movies that my mother took uh, from about 1966 to 1972. This is me in probably about August of 1967 and that's the uh, sun deck at our house at 962 Bayview Drive. I am wandering around holding my favorite stuffed animal, King Teddy. Uh, the poor bear went through a lot of uh, abuse and ended up being stolen by a dog and my mother had to retrieve him and she had to repair him and repair him again. And yes, more of my toys. Clunk, 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 You know, or as a bell sort of thing. From an early age, I had an understanding uh, that cameras were recording images that later on we'd see again. And so, you know, here I'm going, all right, let's take all my toys from there and throw them all out here so they can be recorded. Yay, see, here's my toys, here's my toys. I mean, okay, it wasn't a sophisticated way to it. This is uh, Boundary Bay Beach uh, near Beach Grove. We tended not to go to Centennial Beach uh, at Boundary Bay because they wouldn't allow dogs. Uh, so we went where we could have dogs. I am definitely trying to figure out what happens when sand is dry and you put it in and it gets wet. I've had a mind that constantly is asking questions and is curious since I've been a little kid. I can't remember every time not looking at the world wondering why. Anyway, my why here is, how is this dry? How is that wet? I'm playing with it. You can see. You know, I'm very much thinking there, going, wondering, hmm, what's going to happen? I'm very engrossed in it. And rocks. Rocks make splashes. Rocks can bang on things. And I like to see, you know, what could I bang on? Could I break it? Could I do something with it? So I always wanted to be playing with, um, you know, things to experiment with what happens if I do it with them. Not so steady on my feet yet, but I was not even two years old at this point. Though I'm 55 now, and because of my recent surgery, uh, I'm not that steady on my feet again either. Ah, there I fall. <laughs> I'm obviously not impressed with falling. Finding the largest rock that I can pick up and see what I can do if I throw it in. What happens? There, I hurt myself in the process. It drove my mother insane, but I tended to like go, ah, I'd hurt myself and then, you know, blow it off and do it all over again. It's one of my favorite toys. Um, the scooter that I used to run down our driveway on Baby Drive. I can specifically remember wearing those boots because I didn't wear socks with them. And the feeling of wearing rubber boots on my feet was just sort of, it was a weird, odd sensation. It stuck with me to this day. Our dog, Tiger, who was a Rottweiler Labrador cross, 
and we had him from uh, some point in 1966 to uh, about the middle of 1969. He was a uh, rather vicious dog. I could do anything to him. The family could do anything, but other people, no. This is my second birthday, and I very clearly remember this. In my mind, I still have visions f looking out to the table, and the toys on it are my presents, um, except for I also put a few cars out there that I already had because they should all be there, including one little rubber VW um, uh, pickup truck that had been badly chewed by the dog. So it's, uh, <laughs> and I can remember the taste of the cake and how it melted my mouth. It, I don't know if I had it before, but certainly I can remember the feeling this time of having it. 